folks, it's Sarah with Obadiahs and today I want to do a product comparison for you guys on the Drolet Bistro Stove and the Nectar, the N350, also known as the Vermont Bun Baker. Um, so the Vermont Bun Baker has been around quite a few years. It's actually one of the first cook stoves that we started selling. We've been selling this model for more than 20 years. The Bistro is a relatively new product on the market produced by SBI. Um, the Nectar is going to come out of Australia, so it's an import, and this one is manufactured in Canada, so technically also an import because I'm located here in the United States. Um, you can see sizing comparison. So um, for square footage, I usually say that this bun baker is good for like up to 1200 square feet. This bistro is obviously going to be a little bit larger um, with the firebox here. I'm going to say maybe up to 1700 square feet on this bistro model. Uh, so it is a larger model. You can obviously see for size wise comparison with me standing in between. Um, this the Nectar, also known the Bun Baker stove, is much shorter here. Um, I'm about 5'1", five, five maybe in these shoes, 5'2", or so. And, um, yeah, you can see it comes up about to my hip. This is kind of a nicer height, maybe so you're not, like, bending over if you're especially tall. Um, you could always put the stove on a raised hearth as well. Let's talk about a couple of differences between the models. Um, this one does not have any outside air kit. This one does. This is going to be mobile home approved. This is not mobile home approved. Clearances on the stove. Six inches from the rear on this one, I believe it's eight inches to a protected wall on the bun baker. Um, however, the side clearances, I believe, are going to be less on the bun baker because I think that they might also be eight inches. And this is going to have a 15 inch clearance. So once I burn this, I'll give you guys some temperature readings and have a better idea of how hot the stove itself is actually going to get. Um, so... The firebox on this model, again, is going to be much smaller. So this one will hold about a 12-inch log. This unit's going to hold at least a 16-inch log. Um, so longer burn times. You can get an 8-hour burn time out of this, but it might take a couple of burns to figure out how to adjust the fire to get that particular burn. You should easily get an 8- to a 9-hour burn time out of this unit as well. Other differences between the models, um, size, kind of price point, these are coming from Australia, so parts have been a little bit more challenging to get, which there isn't a whole lot to go wrong with the stove, assuming that it arrives to your location without any damage. Um, this one I have sitting next to me is actually a damaged model, I don't know if you can see this, but the corner got bent in with a forklift. It's nothing structural, it is cosmetic though. Um, so if you get some kind of structural damage or uh, maybe like a side panel that needs to be replaced, sometimes that can take a little bit of time to get your parts, unfortunately, but that's what's been going on on this. Um, with Drolet being located up in Canada, that's pretty close. Their production lead times have also been pretty short, so that's been nice. Those are just like a couple of points, I would say, as far as accessibility to parts. Overall, I am yet to burn this stove, so I'm super excited to get going on this burn time of the Drolet Bistro. I have other videos. We do have other videos on the Vermont Bun Baker. Um, I have cooking and baking videos of the Vermont Bun Baker XL, which I wish I could put side by side right now because it would be, you know, a little bit wider and closer in comparison in size to this unit. Um, but I did just want to show you guys two stack models side by side since I happen to have them both on my floor right now. I really hope that you guys found this product overview helpful. If you like my videos, please don't forget, give them a thumbs up. Don't forget to click that subscribe button in the corner of the channel. Thank you guys for watching. God bless and have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.